Bay Area composers are finding a new way to use music to research the human brain. They're working with a top Bay Area medical center to do that. And what they're finding could help researchers learn more about Alzheimer's disease. Elizabeth Cook takes a listen. At one of the top music schools in the United States, two students and a professor set out on a remarkable journey. Their endeavor brought them deep into the human brain and Alzheimer's disease. I'm just going to make it very subtle. Inside this studio at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music, Natasha Frank and Lina Harrison listened to an original piece they created called The Spinning Wheel. But what you're hearing is more than just a piano and cello. Incorporated into the composition, the electrical activity of brains, measured with an EEG. Doctors recorded them as people slept. Special software converted the brain waves into music. Some of the individuals had Alzheimer's. It was our job to translate it into art, into something that everyone could feel and understand. In the healthy brains, the music is in tune. But with the Alzheimer's patients, their sleep patterns are erratic and the music turns off key. Uh, so when you hear this in contrast to the hu uh, healthy human's sleep, that's when it all kind of comes together and makes sense by the end of the piece. Along the musical odyssey, two UCSF neuroscientists, Sri Nagarajan and Kamalini Rana Singha. You know, right here, you're looking at brain waves. Dr. Rana Singha provided the data to the young composers as to why the music goes out of tune. In Alzheimer's disease, it's a, it's a disease of aging and it's a disease where neurons and neural circuits die. And what we found in our research is that the rhythms in their brains, the electrical activity that's generated by these neurons, they change. A change that can be devastating. One way we can appreciate that, I suppose, is through um, understanding perhaps how it might change the corresponding musical patterns. Back in the studio for Lina, the music strikes a personal note. I have some family members who have suffered from um, memory loss conditions, and I think that it really struck me seeing what perhaps was going on in their mind. Professor Torin Barrera sees a bigger picture. On a larger scale, this is a way for us to incorporate science, art, and technology. I would really love to see more and more music produced in different stages of these brain rhythms and what happens to them in the different stages of this disease. All hope that this work will inspire compassion as it offers a new perspective on dementia.